I am working in Unilever as a innovation costing analyst for personal care and we are basically calculating the transfer prices for innovation products. What I mean by transfer prices is the costs of the products. For example, uh, let's assume the Androlone shampoo and uh, Unilever wants to renovate it by changing the raw materials, maybe the formulation itself or the packaging. Of course, it has an impact uh, on the transfer prices or the cost of this Androlone shampoo. Then they can use this cost information in their business cases and then analyze, okay, what's the gross margin or what's the uh, net profit that we are expecting. I'm the responsible person for everything that comes into the stores, from flagship stores of Essex and Onitsuka Tiger stores. That's me. But basically I'm doing a lot more than that, of course, and it's just not me. It's all the people that work, that did the work before me. But basically we are in the last stage of sending everything out to the stores. So the replenishment, the allocation, that is the main part of my job. I work at uh, PwC as a deals trainee. As a deals trainee, you'll uh, rotate through different departments. And I'm currently in the financial due diligence department where we help our clients with their investments, but I'll also be rotating to the valuations, corporate finance, and delivering deal value uh, departments. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm the one that closes million dollar deals, that uh, our clients do that but we helped them in closing million dollar deals. We had a big store in Paris that just opened, a really big flagship store. And what we did as an allocator, we had an empty store and we filled it up with everything, apparel, accessories, but also visual merchandising. And the opening was great. I mean, we really nailed it. So yeah, that was really something that we're proud of. It's a very dynamic environment. You can have deals with very large companies where you have to analyze uh, all different items of uh, a company that has two billion in revenues or maybe more. Or sometimes you're working on a company that has eight million in revenues and it's less complex, but you can go further into depth and get to know a company a lot better. This master program provided me to understand the concepts in marketing, in finance, in accounting and Unilever provides all these departments and it enables me to connect the dots within the organization. Things that are helpful in my job today that I gained from the International Management Master is the analytical skills for sure, uh, presentation, working with um, students from different cultures, working along with each other, making sure that you are um, done within a time limit so you can manage stressful situations and that is really helpful for the job I'm currently in. I think one very uh, important skill is uh, having a, a critical view on things that are presented to you. Even if it's uh, an audited annual account of a company, you still look at it with uh, enough scrutiny to determine is this really what it represents. I applied for 10 different companies. I got invited for five and I was invited for Essex as well. I had to do an assessment in the office and then the next day I got to hear that I was um, the right candidate for the job. That was already after three weeks, so it went quite well actually in the end. The funny thing is that I found this job or this uh, opening on uh, Facebook. I uh, applied and got uh, through the motion. So you had a first uh, conversation with HR and later on you talk to a partner and do a business course where you yeah, actually compete with other students for the position. And it was really, uh, yeah, it was a nice process. International management program provides a wide range of possibilities. And uh, what my advice would be that find your passion in these uh, courses and then apply for the positions uh, that you are really interested in because if you are interested in something then you will be successful of course.